I'm sorry to bother you. I would like to ask about dining reservations. Yes, this is the restaurant desk at Restaurant Ben. My name is Kyle and I'm happy to help. Shall we begin making the reservations? Yes, I'd like to make reservations, but... Yes, when would you like to make a reservation? Um, today. Today? This restaurant is by reservation only. We only prepare what we need for each course each day. So it'd be hard to make one for today. I'll check, but first I'd like to confirm how many is the reservation for and what courses would you like to have prepared? Well, two of us. And I'm a bit embarrassed to say, but I'd like to order the most affordable course, please. I'm sorry? Actually, an urgent meeting with an important friend suddenly came up. I just came back from overseas for the first time in several years, so I have no money in cash or anything to pay a deposit. Also, my credit card. I left it with my daughter. Huh. I tried several other stores, but they all turned me down. This restaurant is the only place I have left to go. I heard that your restaurant recently started accepting reservations through Instagram, so I decided to give it a try. I see. My wife should bring the cash later. Can you please make a reservation for me? Well, I apologize, but if we're not sure you can pay us, I'm afraid we can't accept your reservation. Well, can you do something about that? This is a really important meeting. This is the only restaurant left that is suitable for this type of meeting. But you don't have the money, do you? Yes, we don't have any money right now. We don't really know if your wife will show up or not, so we can't make a reservation for you. I'm sorry, it can't be done. I promise I will pay everything. Please make the reservation. You know, Oliver, sir, please don't think of us as just another cheap chain store. Isn't this the problem? We have a few chain restaurants now, but we're a high-class restaurant. For a poor person like you to have a meeting here, this isn't the right place. Please understand that. What? We don't serve food to poor people. Plus, it would be troublesome for us if they don't pay. No, I absolutely will pay. Please, please, please. I really don't know where else to turn. No matter how much you ask, we're not a charity. You're someone who just got back from overseas and left their credit card with your daughter. That's incredibly shady and there's no way we'd make a reservation for someone like that. If you'd like to eat at a fancy restaurant like ours, you'll go broke in no time. How can you say that? Anyway, what's impossible is impossible. You'll have to look elsewhere. Well, wait a minute. You said earlier that you would check, didn't you? I'm sorry, I just checked. It's impossible. Really? I'm sure there are some cheap bars around here if there's nothing else. Hello, may I? Yes, this is the reservation desk at Restaurant Ben. This is Kyle. Oh. It's Kyle, exactly who I wanted. Thank you for your help the other day. I'm sorry? Don't you remember? About five days ago, I tried to make a reservation without paying the deposit. I was turned down. Ah, that suspicious person. Did you end up going to a bar after that? How can I help you today? Did you bring any money? You still have the same attitude. I'm not calling to make a reservation today. That must be hard for you. Huh? First of all, let me tell you my real identity. Your real identity? My name isn't Oliver. It's Ben. Ben Jones. Huh? The same name as our president? It's not the same name. I am the president. What? I'm sorry for lying. We recently introduced an Instagram reservation service, and in order to improve the service, I've secretly been conducting surveys myself. What? Like a secret shopper? What? Are you really the president? 
Then when you said you had no money after returning from overseas... Actually, that was true. <laughs> I had no money because I forgot to exchange it and my credit card... Well, I really did leave that with my daughter. So I didn't lie about that. <laughs> I only tried to make a reservation under a false identity. You know, you always see it on TV, right? The president of a company hides his identity and pretends to be an employee. We decided to put this into practice at our company and give it a try at stores all over the country. No way. It's true. And now all the stores have been surveyed. I've been called to notify you of your disciplinary actions. Kyle, you've been dismissed. What? In other words, you're fired. What? I'm very disappointed in what you've said and done. I will inform you officially as soon as possible. Wait, wait, why are you firing me? Why? Don't you understand? Not only did you not help someone in need, you even spoke out of turn. You were ridiculing them. This is an outrageous act. People like you are not needed in this company. We don't need people like you to provide our services. No, 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 that's not true. That's not the way I normally am. I never behave like that. I've always acted of someone who is proud of this restaurant. And in your case, that pride has become something terrible. To behave like that to people who don't have money, was that ever in your employee manual I wrote? A customer is a customer no matter who he or she is. You are supposed to treat them with absolute respect. Am I right? Yes, yes, that's what it says. You must always be aware that you are the face of Restaurant Ben. You have to act with an awareness that we don't have anything or anyone degrading this restaurant. It takes a lot of work to build trust and dignity, but it didn't take long to lose them, does it? Yes, I know you're right. But sir, the firing... What did you have to say about that? If someone comes in who actually has no money and may not be able to pay, wouldn't any company refuse the customer? Since they haven't paid, they aren't customers yet, right? That's exactly the type of place this is, Kyle. Huh? Do you think that's a stupid way of doing things? No one else in the restaurant ever treated me the way you have. Not one person. I would apologize for not accepting same-day reservations and then try to find another restaurant for them. We've also created a special course by combining ingredients from other nearby restaurants and tried our best to provide the best hospitality to the customer. Even though we didn't know if we'd get paid, we treated them as if they were our customers. You should have taken into account my circumstances and been more understanding. But you decided that a customer wasn't worth our high-class restaurant. I'm not sure if it was your pride or not. But you decided this customer wasn't worthy. You even verbally abused me and refused to let me in. Even I cannot forgive you. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm so sorry. I was out of my mind at the time. I was mentally frustrated and divorcing my wife. I was in a daze, partly because I wasn't sleeping well. Do you think that matters? How can you treat a customer differently based on your mental state? That is unbecoming of a customer service professional. Treating a customer so terribly just to distract yourself from other things, that is outrageous. You should be more ashamed of yourself. I am so sorry. I will discuss this matter with upper management. I will contact you again as soon as the disciplinary action is final. Later that day, I visited the location where Kyle worked. I harshly criticized him as well as the manager. When I told them the details of what happened, the color of their faces changed. I notified them of Kyle's dismissal on the spot. Kyle cried and got down on his knees. 
He showed so much remorse that we decided to try moving him to a different location and see how it turns out. Kyle seems to have changed his mind, is working diligently to start over again. I hope he will become a great employee at this rate. I really hope so.